The soul is the true antimatter, a particle from the outside, from the spiritual world, the world of God. Only a human being has a soul. It is his main potential, a portal, and each person's direct connection with the spiritual world. It is not present in plants or animals or in any other matter, including intelligent matter. The soul enters the emerging energy structure of a human being on the eighth day after the birth of a physical body of a newborn baby. If we take the structure of the physical body, then the proximate location of the soul is in the solar plexus area, that is, the actual center of a human. Yet the soul is neither the solar plexus, nor the heart, nor any other physical organ or system, including the brain, the mind, consciousness, thinking, intellect, or mental abilities. Everything mentioned above is neither a product nor a property of the soul. All this applies to the material world. Surgical removal, transplantation of various organs of the physical body, for example of the heart, or blood transfusion, have nothing to do with the soul. I emphasize that it is located in the energy structure of a human being and not in the physical part of this structure. Every human being has one soul. It is single and indivisible. There is no difference between the soul of a man or a woman. The soul has no gender. Souls of all people are identical in their nature. And in this sense, we can say that people are very close and kindred to each other. The soul is not matter, it does not wear out, does not get old or sick. It is perfect in relation to the material world, but it is not perfect enough individually in relation to the world of God. As a result of repeated reincarnations in the material world, the soul is burdened with information shells. Information shells, which are located around the soul, are sensory and emotional bundles. More specifically, an intelligent information structure that can associatively be compared to a kind of nebula. To put it simply, these are former personalities from the previous incarnations. There can be many such subpersonalities near the soul depending on how many reincarnations that person has had. In the photo from the book Alatra, we can see a human soul in transition state after the death of a physical body. In the photo of the soul, the edge shell is clearly visible. It consists, when going deeper towards the sphere, of red color, the remainder of vital energy prana, as well as of yellow and whitish yellow colors of other energies. The spherical form itself is sky blue with shades of light green. It has a distinctive spiral structure which is twisted towards the center and has rainbow hues and white inclusions. The photo from the book Alatra, a human soul disappearing from the material world during the process of transition. 